our earthly fathers. How many of you had a father? You had a father? Yeah. Everyone had a father. Yeah, yeah. All of us had a father. You know, maybe he did not live with us. <laughs> maybe we live far away from our father. But I promise you, you did not come to the world without a father. A father, what are they good for? A father, well, God names himself our father. Okay? Father with God sign, father. Okay? He made us like our earthly father. Not one of us came to this world without the Father. <laughs> he made all of us. This world would not have appeared without Him. He has made us and He continues to protect us. Uh, the many troubles of this world, the fires in Colorado, the tornadoes in Oklahoma, the new hurricanes in the southeast, all of the troubles of this world, God cares for us. When my friend from the Hearing Church called me, she said, where do your twins live in Oklahoma? I heard there were tornadoes there. I said, yes. Where do they live? I said, the twins live near Jesus. And she said, what? And I said, yeah, the twins live near Jesus. They're all white. She said, no, where, where? I said, they live in Tulsa. Okay, okay. But she understood that I knew that God was going to take care of my family, of my twin girls. I knew that God would take care of them because he has promised to take care of his family. And I know all of my children belong to his family. A father protects us. A father gives us food, clothes, a house, good weather, good growing, all that we need for our body and for our life. A father is supposed to do that. For every family does that. Many fathers here do not obey God. Many fathers here don't care about God and don't care about His desire for their family. Families in this world are supposed to have a father. Families are supposed to have a loving and caring father who provides for the children everything that they need. God still loves us, and God the Father, He gives us all that we need. I do wish, I wish, I wish in this world that we had perfect fathers like Him. I would like myself to be a good father. Sometimes I fail, and I'm sorry. I want to do good for my family, like He does good, like my father did good for us. My family, my father, is still alive. It's 87 this year. 87, he still drives. He still uh, 
works uh, as a mechanic on the cars of all of the children, on the cars of the grandchildren. They bring them over, and Dad fixes them up. Yesterday, I was at uh, a friend's home uh, playing banjo, and his father called him. His father is working now building churches. And uh, my father had worked with him. Uh, the two fathers had worked together to build churches before. So, uh, I mean, building churches, why do they do that? Because they know that the Father in heaven will work through us. God wants us to do his work and to show his care, his love, his encouragement for the people who are his children. All of us are his children. Right? There are 12 today. I counted them before. The 12 here are all the children of God. But truly all people. It doesn't matter which nation they come from, which family, which language, which color. They are all His. His people his children who are living in this world. And he wants those people to be joined as his family. We are given birth through baptism. We join his church, not just join uh, the names on a membership list, but we become his family by baptism through learning the Bible, through understanding his love through sermons, through understanding his love through your readings this morning. Those people who serve his church serve those people who come. We want them all to be joined as one family. We want all of them to know that his love for us, the Father has given to us his only son. Jesus came here that we can become his family. Jesus death for us. The cross, the sins, finished. Crucified, died, Jesus gives us forgiveness. Finished. The sins gone, now we live perfect in his sight for us. He sees us through Jesus. We are made perfect. The reading today, the second lesson, was kind of hard. The law does not make us right with God. We become right through faith. His Christ, His Son, Jesus, came here. And when we believe in Jesus, that means that the Father accepts us. We join his family and his love is in us flows to all people. The Father gives us the Holy Spirit. That Holy Spirit works in us that we can continue to serve and love God with not only one hour on Sunday morning, serve and love God all day, every day of our life here. Our Father cares for us, and we show His love and His care.
care for other people. Fathers, they, yeah, God the Father also. We want to show Him our love. How do we do that? My family this morning brought me breakfast in bed. Yeah, wonderful. Cooked the bacon. Bacon. <laughs> Uh, bacon, the eggs, toast, the jelly, and uh, I ate a wonderful breakfast. Milk and orange juice, all of it. Ate in bed. Better than the Mountain Dew. Well, I have the Mountain Dew also. Uh, but all of my family wanted to show me love. Uh, they gave me gifts. Tonight we are going to eat together as a family. Have a nice barbecue. Yeah. Eating and celebrating and gifts and love. How do we show that to God? We can't bring him in bed to his breakfast. I'm praying to him. Well, and we can do as he wants. He has already told us what he enjoys, what he likes the best. His love for us, he shows us what he wants, is for us to love other people, to show the deaf community, to show the deaf world his love through us. Our church, I, I do see, in the last 10 years, I have seen the love growing in this church. Uh, the love that uh, the deaf people, they will want that kind of love. And I do see that. I enjoy seeing your love for each other and your love for the people, the deaf people. I know that's what he wants. That is our best gift to him. That new people, I mean, you're not new. I saw you 35 years ago. But he is showing the love and that smile that I see all the time on Eddie's face, is always smiling. Why? Because he is serving God. Yeah. He loves to serve God. He loves to bring the light, the light for God's church. And I know that our love is growing the same. That our love in the new people here, and hopefully they will want to be coming as new people here the uh, deaf people who can enjoy the Father's, His love, His huge house for eternity. My father, when I was young, I remember that uh, my brother was growing up almost ready for college. And my father said, I would like to build a big house now, big enough that each of the families can have a, a wing on the house so that the family can stay together. And when I heard my father, I thought, that would be enjoyable to have, you know, our house connected to all of the rest of the family. That would, I would enjoy that, to live in Colorado and go on vacations together, go and, and work and come home, but to eat together as a family? Then I thought, that is really the picture, the example of heaven. There in heaven, that huge house with many, many rooms will be ready for us. It will be ready for God's family. My father's earthly plans 
are the same as God's heavenly plan to have one family joined together to enjoy the feast, to enjoy the 